Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, Taurus. It's Dana. How the heck you doing? Let's do a fresh read for Taurus, all right? The last read I put out was a republish of an oldie but a goodie, but today we're going to do some fresh cards for Taurus. Let's do it, y'all. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, snuggle up to this table, and let's read some cards. If you're coming back to the channel, amazing. Thank you so much. If everybody would subscribe, that would be amazing. It helps my numbers keeps it going and motivates me to keep doing this right on if anybody feels compelled to donate to my new super like thing by all means please do it doesn't have to be a lot some of y'all out there are donating like 25 and 35 dollars i think i got one for 50 that's crazy talk y'all don't need to do that but if everybody that watched this video sent me one dollar i'd be balling i would be bankrolling taurus so anywho, if you feel compelled to do a super like or whatever it's called, you'll see it on the screen somewhere. Um, by all means, I am very grateful for that. All right, let's do this. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I'm going to thoroughly confuse you, and I'll sew together a story, all right? Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy, the Empress, Universal Energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me here, Spirit, and Taurus wants to know what you know. What do you know about this particular Taurus, and what does this particular Taurus need to know about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their very, very best and highest good? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Here we go. One, two, three. Two and three. Bottom of the deck, the five of wands, strength, death in reverse. Fantastic. That'll make hella sense to all of us in just a second. Let me make sure I got this. I'm doing a new thing here so the cards can be this way. I'm just giving it a try. Nobody freak out, okay? I'm just giving it a try. So the first card out is the Five of Pentacles. Poverty, poverty mindset. The Empress, this would be you, I do believe. The Five of Swords, white knuckle grip on some kind of win at all cost mentality. And the Eight of Wands, change. The Tower, sudden change. Two of Wands in reverse, change you maybe you don't see coming. The Hermit, doing some soul searching. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of teamwork and collaboration. The Six of Pentacles, life, giving, receiving, and sharing of prosperity in life. The Six of Pentacles, the Princess of Cups in reverse. The Two of Cups in reverse. The Three of Wands, having some foresight. Can we squeeze more cards down the sides? I think we can. I think we can because this isn't quite 15 and my spreads consist of a root base of 15. So bear with me just a second. Let me do three rows of five for you guys, okay? Let me do three rows of five. There we go. Then we got the Wheel of Fortune. So glad I did that. To the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. To the Prince of Swords, the Nine of Cups. Fantastic. See if anything else is coming along here. I think we'll stop with the Nine of Cups. All right, you guys. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think that that works nice, actually. Hmm. All right. Let's clarify. So, the Five of Pentacles. What is all of this about? Is it lack mentality? Is it about being left in the cold? The moon. Interesting. Something that you don't see, perhaps. Hmm. The Empress. Whoop, on the floor. The Empress to the Queen of Cups. Fantastic. Empress to the Queen of Cups and the Two of Swords. All right. 
the Five of Swords, some kind of mentality. Win at all costs mentality. And then we have the Empress again and Justice. Very interesting. Okay. All right, Taurus, this is what's happening, okay? This is what's going on. For this particular Taurus, this is what's happening. And probably sooner than later, okay? So, 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 to start with. To start with, so, we have the Five of Pentacles, okay? It's the first card out. It sets the tone for everything. This Five of Pentacles is about being left in the cold. It's about encountering some kind of financial difficulty for this particular reading, okay? Left out in the cold, some kind of financial difficulty. To the moon, you don't see it coming. You don't see it coming at all. You don't see it coming, okay? To the two of cups in reverse, okay? Unviable relationship. What you don't see coming is that some kind of relationship that you are involved in is going to come to an end, okay? Could be work, could be family, could be a living situation, could be a boarding situation. God forbid it's my horse boarding situation, okay? Because it's perfect right now. Don't want that to come to an end. But there is something in this Taurus's life that is coming to an end, but you don't see it coming. You have no clue, no clue yet, okay? Two of cups in reverse. A relationship is coming to an end, all right? Your advice here, being Major Arcana, well, your first form of advice is the moon, right? Being Major Arcana, the moon is telling you, see through the fog, see through the darkness, see through, see through everything, okay? The Empress, right? This is in your best interest. Believe it or not, no matter how much of a financial crunch in your sense of well-being this might have on your life, it's in your best interest. And what they want you to do is handle this situation like a boss, like a boss, like the Empress. It is the card of Taurus. It's the card of Libra too, but we're talking Taurus today, right? So the Empress is telling you, keep your mind straight, okay? Don't be focusing on, oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh my God, this financial situation. I'm depending on this person for rent. I'm depending on this person for a place to stay. I'm depending upon this person for my well-being in some way, okay? The Empress says, boss up. Keep your mind straight. Keep your mind in the game. Follow your intuition. Listen very carefully to what your guts tell you when this happens, not your mind. Not your human reactiveness, your ancient soul wisdom coming from your deep intuition is your soul literally trying to lead you and guide you through this world, through this lifetime experience. Listen to it all the time, okay? They want you to put your mind in the game because your mind creates your reality. That's lesson number one. That's the magician. Lesson number two is the high priestess, right? Your intuition is trying to lead you and guide you and show you the path to your best and highest good all the time. Lesson three is the Empress. She's made from lesson one and two. She is the dirt of life. Nothing grows without the Empress energy, okay? So they need you to handle it like a boss. Look to the Queen of Cups, okay? Um, no ill will, no bad feelings. Don't get angry about it because it's meant to be. It's part of universal order for your life. Perhaps it's part of universal order for someone else's life and their universal order affects your life. Okay, so the Queen of Cups is the ancient soul. Ancient soul, so is the King of Cups, okay? Ancient soul, ancient understanding, and they need you to tap into that place of love, acceptance, and understanding when this happens and process it through that. Two of Swords, because you're gonna be at a crossroads. Your human nature is going to want to freak out about this. But again, they're advising you, the human nature is not what you need to use to handle this situation when it occurs in your life. You need to sit back and go, huh, okay, well, things are changing. 
because Taurus doesn't like change if it's not their idea, right? But this is not your idea. You don't even see this coming. Well, now you do, right? But this is not your idea. You don't even see this coming. And it's going to put you at a serious crossroads. And they need you to sit back and say, all right, well, I trust, I have faith that I am living in the way that is always going to procure my best and highest good. And if you're not, if you're all willy-nilly and living in your flesh, you're going to freak out and this is probably going to be a detrimental experience for you. But if you will tap into your ancient soul's wisdom and guidance, this is actually a huge turning point for you. You don't realize that yet, though. What's happening? Well, the Hierophant in reverse. Some kind of commitment is breaking. Lease, contract, obligations, marriage, relationships, family, something is changing in that respect. Some kind of commitment is being broken. Okay? All right. Could be a roommate. Could be your roommate comes and says, guess what? I'm moving home. I don't know what to tell you, but uh, bye. And you're like, well, what am I, who's going to, huh? Right? Five of Swords. This is that win at all costs mentality. This is going to be your problem, Taurus. Right? Because again, Taurus doesn't like change unless it's their idea. This is sudden change. And this is not your idea. This Five of Swords is, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to sue you. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to tap into your bank account and take your rent out. I am going to X, Y, and Z all over the place. You are not going to screw me over. Well, what you have to understand is it's not a screw over. This person's divinely orchestrated path of their life is taking them out of your life. And your divinely orchestrated path of your life is moving at the same time. Okay? Empress, again, boss up handle it like the empress that we just talked about. Look, justice, it's in your best interest to handle it like an empress. Male or female, it doesn't matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy, even if you're a they, them. You have masculine and feminine energy. Be proud of it. Men, be proud of your feminine energy. Women, be proud of your masculine energy. And the objective is to find balance between them both. And the non-binary people, Find pride in the feminine aspects of yourself and the masculine aspects of yourself, okay? That's all this expression is in the tarot, is feminine and masculine energy, all right? So, handle yourself like an empress, justice. It's in your best interest to see it through this perspective, okay? Six of Swords, leave behind the mental baggage, Five of Swords, that keeps you in this oh hell no kind of mentality, to the Ace of Wands, because this is actually a catalyst to a brand new opportunity for you, Taurus. Eight of Wands, change. Change is afoot. Everything is a changing for you, Taurus. And then we have the Tower over here at the far end. It's sudden change. The Tower can be an implosion, right? But what we have to understand is when there is a tower in our life, it's supposed to be indicative that we cannot continue to build on what it is that we were trying to build upon, okay? Because it can't bear the weight of what your life should be if you will surrender and submit to universal order. So there is going to be sudden change and something that you have built up for a good minute is going to crumble. It's going to crumble, the Knight of Wands. This is uh, the sudden change. This is the communication that creates this sudden change. This is the energy by which Taurus needs to process this situation, right? Instead of being like, oh my God, be like, all right, all right, what does this opportunity give me? What does this lead me to? Okay. Sudden, quick, fast change is happening. The King of Cups to the Five of Cups. King of Cups to the Five of Cups is about the other person's soul journey, okay? Because the King and Queen of Cups, to me as a reader, is always your ancient self. It's the ancient agape love of soul source understanding, okay? This person, whoever this other person is in this situation, their soul journey is leading them someplace else. 
That's why they're leaving you, okay? The Five of Cups, loss, regret, despair, disappointment to the Empress in reverse. Empress in reverse in this particular instance. We have three Empresses here, by the way, in the first row of this reading. This Empress in reverse being a minor, small clarifying card for me is indicative that you are codependent on this person somehow, some way, okay? And the Wheel of Fortune comes on top of it and says the divinely orchestrated steps of your path, a positive turning point in your life. But if you're not prepared, this is going to catch you off guard and Taurus is going to freak out and have a meltdown. No, 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 no. This is the divinely orchestrated path of the person who is leaving you. And this is the divinely orchestrated path of your life. It is literally Lego locking coming into play for both of you. And the high priestess says, let it be, let it be, 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 let it be so, right? The high priestess is that ancient soul. Remember lesson two that makes the empress, which is lesson three, lesson one, two, and three make the emperor, which is four, one, two, three, four, and five make the hierophant and so forth and so on. This high priestess says, no, no inside of yourself that all is well know that this is supposed to be, no matter how much you don't like it, no matter how much it takes you by surprise, this is supposed to be, okay? Two of Wands in reverse. This Two of Wands in reverse is talking about um, un, uh, your slight confusion about how the future is supposed to be, right? Because remember, this is a surprise. Okay, to the Ten of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse is about a renewal of a mindset. Instead of thinking about this situation as betrayal and deception, Five of Swords, right? You're screwing me over. Instead of thinking about this situation as betrayal and deception, change the mindset the world in reverse so you can close out this cycle of your life and begin this new cycle of your life with the wheel of fortune and the high priestess right here right right if you don't change your mindset you can't enter into the new cycle the world in reverse says this particular person is going to have a propensity to want the cycle to not stop but the cycle has to stop it's universal order the hermit, right? Call on us. Sit down and let's have a real serious conversation. Deep soul searching and introspection. Deep, deep talk with whatever it is you're calling your higher power. That's what they want from you. Out loud, crazy person conversation. What the literal hell is going on right here, right now? What do I do? How do I handle this? What's in my best interest? Because even though there's details here, everybody's situation is different. If you want to know your exact situation, hit me up at thepathofpurpose.org and I'll read your cards for you. That's the only way you will ever know the truth about your situation. All right. So the hermit says, let's sit down. Look, seven of seven of wands, because you're overwhelmed with all of this. Sit down and talk to God or whatever it is that you're calling it. OK, I, I call it source personally. Three of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. This is a lack of teamwork and a lack of collaboration. This is the tower. This is the falling apart. This is the ending of this commitment. This is the unviable relationship. The two of wands comes on top of it and said, it's okay. It's okay. Your future doesn't include this relationship. Your future can't include this relationship. This space in your life has to go. Six of pentacles, the giving, the receiving, and the sharing of prosperity, home, your home life, how you get your paychecks, your bank account, um, how much stability you have in your life it's in the upright okay to the knight of cups which is some kind of invitation or offer and look the four of wands okay this four of wands is about stability and safety in the four walls that make up your sense of well-being so what this is saying is don't you worry taurus however this is shaken down for you personally there's going to be some kind of communication maybe a new roommate a new job a 
an agreement for child support or finances somehow, but somehow, some way in this Taurus's life, as soon as this shit show happens, there's going to be something else almost immediately that comes through for you. All right. Princess of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Wands in reverse. This is uh, just a reiteration, right? Princess of Cups in reverse is hurt feelings and the Nine of Wands in reverse is feeling overwhelmed, wanting to give up because of the two of cups in reverse, because of an unviable relationship, some kind of relationship that is breaking in your life. The queen of swords in reverse. Somebody is not holding up their end of the deal. Look to the ace of pentacles. Somebody's not gonna pay their rent. Somebody's not going to pay their portion of the bills. Somebody's not going to pay for your car to get fixed when they crashed it. Somebody's not going to um, give you the raise that you think that you're supposed to be getting. Someone is not going to something financially for you, Taurus. Okay. The queen of swords in reverse is someone going back on their word, not honoring their word. Could be about an argument as well that happens. That is the spawn of all of this. Okay. All right. Three of wands. Have some foresight. Don't fear. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. Have some foresight, prepare yourself now, because this is going to happen to someone out there. To the Nine of Cups, get ready, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, okay? To the King of Pentacles, this is Taurus. A lot of people say this is Capricorn, but me as a reader, this is my card for Taurus, okay? Don't worry. Have no fear, you're going to be just fine. This whole situation opens the door for a brand new opportunity in your life. An opportunity that could have never taken place if the commitment in this particular opportunity didn't end, okay? All right, and look, the Page of Swords. This goes right back to these cards right here. No sooner does this shit show happen this tower, two towers, mind you, there's one down here as well, right? No sooner does this happen than something immediately comes straight into your life. But it's the mindset that they were addressing at the top of the reading that is important. When this happens, do not freak out. Go into the hermit energy, ask source what it is that you need to be focusing on and do it, okay? Because... Wheel of Fortune again, second time. This is what is supposed to be happening in this particular Taurus's life. This is what the future is about for you. And this person, whatever situation or circumstance this is for you, cannot be a part of your future, okay? King of Wands, this turning point, this divine orchestration in your life is going to actually lead you to a whole lot of success a whole lot of success. This situation was holding you back, but you didn't realize it because you were somehow codependent for your sense of well-being in this situation, but it's actually holding you back. The queen of swords, this is you controlling your mind, having your mind in the game, throwing up that sword and saying, all right, fine. If it's going to be this way, it's going to be this way. This is you possibly having a serious conversation with this situation and saying, whatever, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Whatever. Queen of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Upset in the home, the family, the finances, a lack of success. The Queen of Wands in reverse can sometimes be a crazy person. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse can be a, a low sense of self-worth. I think that this Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse, I think the Queen of Wands in reverse is representative of the other half of this unviable relationship with that Two of Cups right there. Mm -hmm. I think that your person that you are engaged with in this situation is unstable and experiencing a lack of success themselves. That's why there's now upset in the home, the family, and the finances with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. To the Ten of Swords. 
Ten of Swords in reverse. Again, letting go of a mindset of betrayal and deception and accepting what it is. Seven of Pentacles, taking a step back, reflecting and assessing on how it is you're going to go about handling this whole thing, how it is you're going to grow your future, going into that hermit energy and reorganizing your life plan to the Prince of Swords, because there is communication, quick communication that's coming into you to the tower that creates a serious upheaval in your well-being the nine of cups but it is for your best good taurus it is absolutely for your best good the nine of cups to the ten of cups on the other side of this situation is peace happiness and comfort perhaps this person in your life needs to go and taurus is codependent on the financial aspect of this person and so they've been holding on and holding on and holding on and now universal order is like either catch up or don't but this is the way shit's going to go down beautiful beautiful after party from the tip from the tower okay and then judgment conscious cognitive straight up serious line in the sand decision about how you're going to handle this you're either going to handle this from a spiritual perspective or you're going to handle it from a flesh perspective if you handle it from a flesh perspective you're going to be distraught you're going to be broke you're going to be all anxiety stricken and you're going to not see the forest through the trees if you handle this from a spiritual perspective your understanding of life will have a new birth Judgment is about a rebirth. It's about deciding definitively that you are going to follow universal order, even if it doesn't make sense to you. Mm -hmm. To the fool. And this puts you on the beginning. Oops, I'm sorry. To the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's like the third time this card is here. Third time. Three Empresses, three Ten of Swords in reverse, mind you. You have to let go of the mentality of being fucked over deceived and betrayed because that's that might be what this person is trying to do to you on purpose it might be something that is essential for this person to be okay in their life but regardless of the background the who what where when why and how of things regardless of that your job is to handle this from a soul's understanding and know that you know that you know that everything is going to work out in your best interest because if you truly believe that if you follow your intuition and the guidance of the universe with signs and synchronicities around you that you will always be led to your best and highest good if you believe that beyond a shadow of a doubt this situation for you actually turns into something extremely extremely fulfilling and powerful and then the fool is the last card in the root spread. This fool talks about a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, a whole different direction for you, Taurus. But you see, the fool doesn't have an itinerary. He doesn't know the who, what, where, when, why, and how of things. All he knows is that life is changing and he feels compelled to go in a certain direction in his life. So when this happens, close your eyes, feel your soul, and go in that direction even if you don't understand it death and reverse internal purging of the mindset that you will either process from a spiritual perspective or a human's perspective right the inner purging of this mindset that they keep asking you to change here is the key to everything death and reverse is an internal personal transformation for some of you this is going to be a test of your faith the universe does not ever test you but it will be a test of your free will yes it will to strength there you go strength right overcome have the courage to overcome be strong be courageous take the bull by the horns pun intended and say you know what this is not the be all to end all and i know that i know that i know that my spirituality is going to make everything okay for me and then the five of wands conflict prepare yourself taurus this situation is a blow up you have two towers here 
It's a blow up. It's an implosion of some important aspect of your life that is directly related to your sense of well-being. So get ready. Prepare yourself. However you need to do that, again, you can get your cards right at thepathofpurpose.org. I would love to read for you. Get ready. Prepare yourself. It is happening. It is coming for whomever this reading is for. And accept it. Accept it and enjoy it. Have peace in the journey, Taurus. I hope that helps someone. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.